Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. You are watching Full Take. I have installed the Cherish OS 4.3 one day before. Full review of that ROM is given in iCard. But finally the base of most of the custom ROM called as Lineage OS has released their official nightly builds for the OnePlus 6 and 60. As simplicity is the best part, Lineage OS not provides fancy customizations but they are known for the stability, performance and the better battery life ROM. So I decided to give a try for this ROM. To flash this we need the ROM zip file and the nick gapps package separately. Because ROM doesn't come with the gapps in build, remove the pins and the password from the phone. Boot your phone in the TWRP, tap install, flash ROM zip file, then flash gapps. Then tap on add once, then tap install current TWRP. Then tap on wipe, select format data and reboot. So today in this video we will see the performance comparison of this ROM with the Cherish OS, what's working, some basic customizations that this ROM offers, bugs and the issues in the ROM with my final verdict. So watch the video till then. Now without further ado, let's get started. Phone started to boot into the most familiar boot animation of legendary custom ROM that is Lineage OS. Formerly it was known as Cyanogen Mod. After completing the setup, let's check out the details of the ROM in the about phone. Here you can see now this is the official build based on the new Android 13 with the material clock strike. We already created the unofficial Lineage OS 13 build video few months before. You can check that from the iCard. Lineage OS version is 20 with its old and the familiar history. ROM comes with the latest security patch of December 2022. Kernel version is 4.9.227. Build date of ROM is 1st January 2022. So everything is updated to the latest sources in this nightly build. As this is the official build, it will be maintained regularly. Now we will see the performance of the ROM. ROM is super smooth, you will not feel any lag or any kind of jitter while using the ROM in the day to day uses. Everything will run battery smooth. All the applications are running on the constant 60 years, even the camera application also. So it's time to do the Geekbench performance test. When I ran the test, I got the score of 498 and 2168 for the single core and multi core respectively. If you check the old Cherry OS result, it has the highest result than the Lineage OS. But as compared to the other Rise Droid and the Evolution X, Lineage has the better results. For the Vulcan Graphics API, I got the score of 1834. This is also nearly same as like the Cherish OS, Rise Droid and the Evolution X. So in terms of the numerical and the real app uses, this ROM seems very good. Next, I tested all the basic functionalities like the Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi hotspot, Bluetooth with the HD codec support, GPS location, screencast, alert slider, fingerprint scanner, auto brightness, everything is working fine. Important part is the camera. The ROM comes with the Lineage OS Aperture Camera application. Though it's a basic camera application without any features, but now it supports the 4K recording and the camera quality is also better than the Gcam. Unfortunately, ROM didn't have the Oxonus camera, but you can use the Gcam instead. When I tried the Gcam MGC application, as usual like all the old custom ROMs, some features are working and some are still broken. Like night mode, portrait mode for the front and the back camera both are working. Video slow motion recording is still buggy, but the time lapse is working fine. Video recording at 4K 60fps is still not working, but video stabilization is working good. Panorama mode and the photosphere mode both are working good. So except some features, other things are absolutely fine. Let's check out the other important features, OLT incoming and the outgoing calls are working. Code recording functionality is available and code record will be found in the file manager and inside the code record folder. ROM storage is encrypted. As this is the official ROM, it comes with the OT updater and it's working good. All the sensors like the accelerometer, light, proximity, magnetometer, all are working fine. Other features like the speaker, ear proximity, mic, multi-touch, all are also working good. Now it's time to see the basic features that you get in the ROM. The ROM is a pure vanilla build. Still, they added some essential features like the live display. Here we get the different color profiles, automatic and the manual high brightness modes. We also get the color calibration and the picture adjustment setting. In the same display tab we get the double tap to wake and the slip toggle on the lock screen and it's working fine. 
Ambient display is working fine and here we get the pocket mode which is more power efficient than the ambient display. ROM now comes with the inbuilt font and the icon shapes. Wallpaper and style application now has the different wallpaper and the basic colors. It also supports the Thimble dock icons too. Under the settings and the button we get the new option for the age long swipe. We can add the different activities from the list and can use them by the long swapping the back gesture. Volume rocker wake up toggle is available and it's working. Volume panel left right toggle is also available here. Except these all the basic customizations for the status bar and gestures are available under the status bar and the gestures tab. Now it's time to show you the bugs and the issues. First is the ROM didn't pass the safety net. As the lineage OS didn't apply any patches to overcome the security issues, they kept this part untouched, but we can solve it by routing and using some magic module. Like all other custom ROM, this ROM also didn't have the L1 security, it's still on L3, so you can't run the Netflix or the Amazon Prime at the full HD resolution. Another issue is that by default device remain uncertified in the Google Play, that's the reason some application we can't install like Netflix. But this issue can also be solved by routing your device. ROM has the display media cover art toggle, but that's not working like other ROMs. ROM did not have the OK Google voice activation support. It's showing this feature is currently unavailable error in the Google application. Google's photo application didn't have the photo unlimited backup. Feature available in the button tab called as the press and hold volume up plus power button to wake the Google assistant seems not working. So these are some issues that are faced, some of them can be solved by routing the device, but others still need to be fixed. As Lineage OS is the trusted source of custom ROM for their performance, stability, battery life and regular updates by the original Lineage OS community developers, we can consider this ROM as a daily driver without any doubt. Hope you got your answer. So if you think this video helped you, then please do like, share and subscribe, press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching. Until then, signing off. Take care. Bye-bye.